Hello ladies and gentlemen. Now, this is a very quick video just to act as a content peach for the floating point series. I never actually intended to make this a series, but well, now that we actually have three videos and some mistakes in each of them, I thought I would just make a very quick video to act as a content page, right? A cover page. Um, okay, so very quickly, we now have three videos in this series. The first video is the main floating point video where I discuss both fixed point numbers, why they're bad, as well as, well, floating point numbers themselves. So this is where you should start. This is where I define what a floating point number is. I show you where all the important bits are. But there is an issue with that video and that is it ignores several corner cases, several special cases of floating point numbers. I'm talking about what we cover in the next two videos, starting with D normal numbers, as well as D not a number and infinity kind of situations. Now, I'm assuming you haven't watched these videos yet, but it's important to tell you where all the errors are, so I'll just spoil a little bit of the video for you. Floating point numbers are expressed in terms of a sine, exponent, and mentisa, so it breaks down the numbers into these three parts. The exponent is usually used to essentially scale the number up or down, but there are special values of the exponents that actually represent different things. What this means is, if you were to look at the exponent and if you see negative 127, you don't actually treat it as negative 127, you treat it to mean that it is a d-normal number, which we explain in the second video in this contents page. And if you see this as positive 127, it could represent a not a number situation or an infinity situation and you have to look into the other parts to know. This we will cover in the third video of the series. The problem here, the mistake here, is that when I talk about my first video, I didn't take these situations into account. I just treated it as a number that runs from negative 127 to positive 127, which is incorrect. When I did my d-normal video, I only considered the negative 127 case, and I didn't actually mention the positive 127 case. So yeah, it's sloppy terminology from me, that's my bad, and that is why this video exists. I hope you watch this first before proceeding to the others. So yeah, just a very quick note on this point. To see the three videos, you can pop open you know, the little card drawer on the side, you will see all three videos, watch them in order, and just take note of my sloppy terminology. Yeah, so that's it, so that's a very quick contents page. Um, I'll put this in a playlist as well, so yeah, just go from top to bottom. That's all there is for this particular video, just a very quick contents page to let you know about, yeah, me not doing my job properly. Anyway, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. You're watching 0612 TV with nerdfirst.net. Thank you very much for watching. If you like my work and are feeling generous, you can shoot me a one-time donation on PayPal or sign up for a recurring one on Patreon. Of course, you can simply like, comment, and subscribe. You know the deal. For more videos, links to my channel and a related playlist are on screen. Thank you for your support.